Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is fine on your side and you are enjoying my videos and uh, most importantly I hope you are safe during the Russian and Ukrainian conflict that is going on. And uh, you know let's all of us hope that uh, World War 3 does not start. <laughs> okay so anyways uh, you know back to the main business. Uh, the topic for today is uh, facades. And uh, you know while growing up in Saudi Arabia I've spent around 20 years in downtown Riyadh and uh, you know, within the entire city, I believe one of the most um, aspiring and one of the most eye-catching and astonishing and extremely, you know, um, sort of interesting facades was the King Fahad National Library, all right? For example, if you go to Google and if you simply write uh, the King Fahad National Library, and this is something that's going to pop out. So, guys, look at how cool the facade of this building is. I mean, as a child, you know, when I was growing up, I, I've always stared at this building and I've always wondered how can we make something like this. And finally, now I'm a civil engineer and I'm a Revit designer and I can make this. All right. So that's a moment for me. And, uh, you know, this was the building which was close to my house and it was so nice. I mean, look at this, you know, at night we used to have these these bulbs which were arrayed all over the place. And, uh, you know, it was very nice. So today. You know, we, we, we're going to replicate this inside Revit, all right? So it's going to be one of the most interesting projects for me. <laughs> all right, so let's quickly go. So curtain panel based and, uh, you know, we are going to speed up because there are so many steps to this. This is not easy at all. And uh, two, okay. And uh, for example, let's click on this. Let's go to rhomboid and uh, four and four, right? The size of that is going to be four meters by four meters. Now, um, if we check this facade a little bit out, you know, these are sort of membranes, right? Or, you know, in very, uh, you know, for example, if you think about it, they're called membranes, but they even represent birds, doesn't it? I mean, you know, birds, eagles, or sparrows, check this out. They kind of have this birdie shape. This is the tail, and these are the both of the wings. Uh, and they are then arranged one another, but the final result is, it's very cool. So we are going to, um, you know, we, we are going to try to replicate this, all right? The size of this is four by four, which we have chosen, that is fine. And, uh, you know, we are going to choose number two as our tail, okay, the tail of our um, of our shape. So the first thing uh, is that we kind of need points for our elevation. So let's set this. Uh, let's uh, set uh, this as our work plane and then paste and paste and paste. So we have pasted uh, three points. Now if you click on this point and we give it an offset of two meters, so it went up. Let's change this property into a controllable parameter. So three points um, with two meters offset each. The names can be as long or as childish as you want. As long as by the end you can differentiate between all of your names, right? So three points of two points each and uh, this one is going to be what why can't i say? okay fine and this is going to be mm, two points of three points each all right so now let's click on that let's click on that let's connect it by spline and change into a reference line and a one and a two spline and a reference line and a one and a two and spline and a reference line okay so one and a two and spline and uh <sighs> Highlighted geometry does not represent. Okay, if you press this now, it's going to represent a working plane. So now um, connect this, connect this, and uh, connect it by spline and uh, reference line. So check this out. <laughs> we have done so much progress, and uh, you know our progress is on point. So this is the the vertical offset that we gave it. All right. Now uh, we need eight more points. Okay. So it's going to be in the middle. So once the triangle appears, um, okay, paste it. And uh, because you know um, it has this sort of these offset at this point and a curve that at this point so we are going to try to replicate that and now we need um, four more points which we have to offset offset inwards so for that case um, set and tab um, tab tab yes this is it fine okay and uh, tab 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 okay and uh, paste it and the same case for this so set tab tab and uh, paste and uh, set paste okay so we have pasted four points now if we um, click on one of these points and uh, let's give it an offset of 0.8 meters so this is what I wanted to do all right whatever I say is gonna make sense once the step is actually done and uh, in this case okay the direction is on the other side so this has to be minus 0.8 it can be plus and uh, this is again going to be minus 0.8 and you can even change uh, this into a controllable parameter like we did for the other ones but i am going to leave it because then you know um 
the work is going to be so much and uh, our YouTube video is going to be long so I, I, I'm trying to speed up things as much as possible so one and uh, two and uh, three right here connect by spline and uh, one and two and uh, three and connected as spline and uh, here you go check this out believe it or not you know 50 percent of our shape is already done so now let's uh, connect this because we kind of need more points which is the the backbone of our bird all right the backbone so now um one and the two and one exactly in the middle and uh, one right here and then two are going to be the bottom tails so for this space um point one and uh, this is uh, this one is going to be point two and uh, this one is going to be uh, 0.25 okay perfect mm, this one uh, 0.72 okay 0.75 if you want to round that up and this one is going to be um, 0.88 so 0.9 fine okay perfect now you know all of these points uh, the host of these points is this line right because we are horizontally moving it but we want to change the host to level one so that we can move it vertically upwards so now two okay check this out we have moved it vertically upwards now for this one let's first of all change the host and uh, this is uh, if it if that's two this can be 1.8 okay and uh, you know we can even later on change this so it's no big deal this one if that's 1.8 this can be 1.5 and uh, if that is 1.5 this can be what what can this be this can be 1.3 uh, no we have to change the host first uh, okay um, and now we can do it to so 1.3 right and rest of them we do not need uh, in fact you know let's even uh, do this a little bit uh, this can be if that's 1.3 this can be uh, you know first let's let's make the actual backbone because I have a feeling that uh, we would have to do that one point manually okay so now let's uh, click all of these the backbone of our bird or our membrane and uh, let's connect it by spline let's change it into a reference and check this out guys <laughs> so this is uh, the actual backbone and uh, you know i was right i think we have to kind of manually do this yes look at this much better and uh, this one we need to set the profile a bit up uh, right here so much better look at how nice it has become so this is the the backbone all right and it kind of looks good it looks interesting uh, so how about a bit back and a bit tall and uh, much better so i mean we can even change this later on right that's no big deal but this is the the final and uh, for example if this goes a bit down okay much better right so this is it now um we need more points uh one and uh, no i've pasted it in the wrong side so more points so one and two and one and two because this is where our curve is going to be uh, one and two and one and two you know although these values can change in my case uh, I've kind of taken the shortcut and uh, I've made it as simple as possible so the first point is point one and uh, the the second uh, point is gonna be what is the second point gonna be the second point is point two okay so the first point is point one and the second point is point two this is um, you know let's call let's call it a shortcut point one and uh, the second point is point two okay fine and uh, is the same for this so um and uh, point one and uh, this is going to be uh point two fine perfect now um it is the same thing so in this case uh point one and uh, this one is going to be what point two fine okay so one two three four five six everything is perfect now is the same case for this side even so let's click on that uh one and two and three and four and five and six and uh, seven and eight exactly the same thing which we did on that side so one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight so now uh, let's go to oh why do i keep selecting line? okay let's go to this so uh, let's change this to end point one and uh, the second point is going to be you know there's even a reverse sign right here yes um point two perfect it's so easy nothing hard Make sure you are following all the steps. This is kind of long, but the final result is extremely nice. Point two. So point one and point two, and even in this case, uh, this is the opposite. Uh, point one, and uh, let's click on this opposite, and point two. Check this out. It is so fun to make. And uh, point one, uh, and uh, second point, 
checkpoint two finished already so now guys this is the final moment the moment where you know we are going to make that shape so this is going to be interesting uh, i hope you okay let's you know even paste point in the middle all right okay so this point and now this is reference all right reference and spline so now this is going to be our curve and this is our curve and uh, let's even place one in the middle where the triangle appears okay so curve uh, curve and uh, curve right here and curve right here and uh, curve right here let's try to place one again in the middle and uh, this is it okay so for example if we click on our profile our profile looks uh, it looks nice right um, although if you want to get very stingy and kind of want to perfect this you can do that and uh, even this one you yes perfect okay and this is it looks good so now let's click on this and let's click on this and uh, let's go create forms and uh, this is yes so check this out guys look at how interesting our shape is well this was fun to make you know look at how uh, half of our membrane is already completed and uh, you know uh, you guys can even personally edit this once um, your concept is clear so for example this one what was the elevation of this it was 1.85 how about 1.8 man 1.85 is too much okay and um, uh, what was the elevation of this one the elevation of this was 1.57 1.55 or uh, one, uh, 1 1.6 um, okay fine that looks fine right and uh, that is 2 and uh, this one is uh, 1.8 1.75 okay fine so now is the same thing for the other one so reference and spline and uh, click on this we kind of need a point in between and uh, click on that and uh, click on this click on this click on this and this and one point in between yes when the triangle appears click on this click on this click on this click on this and uh, this and one final point exactly the way we did like this one so i think this is perfect we pasted one point here okay and uh, you know you guys want to fix the profile right because we are all uh, perfectionist you know we like to fix our profiles uh, for example let's undo this I don't want to disturb this in fact let's um, fix this one right here you know let's be that that perf perfectionist right um, okay it looks fine right there's a small gap or hair but that's okay and uh, even in this one let's uh, let's grab this and let's rise it a little bit so that uh, the profile is fixed okay it looks good and uh, now let's click on the profile let's click on this line and uh, here you go what unable to form and uh, let's click on this and okay now i think we we selected and check this out <laughs> okay so look at our profile look at how nice it looks and now uh, most of our work is already done but uh, let's go to file and uh, new to project so let's just try to replicate whatever we saw at the start and uh, come on come on come on uh, so the first thing is always the units units, units to meters 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 okay okay masking in sight in place mass okay okay close and okay it wasn't okay okay so anything uh, anyways let's uh, place the line and we have to remember the size of our uh, it was four by four meters right so it means ten of them are going to be placed let's go to 3d view let's close all inactive views let's select this line create form let's select the top let's click on that and 40 meters okay now let's click on one of them and uh, tap to select all divide surface and uh, rhomboid 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 where are you here you go uh, so what a uh, fixed distance and uh, four and uh, four and let's go back to our family load in load in come on load into the project okay and uh, this is our <laughs> our profile and uh, let's select this so family 12 and check this out guys we have made it <laughs> so this is the profile uh, the facade that i always admired as a child and uh, you know for example if we look at this so the bottom part kind of rises and the top uh, is inwards right so in our case it is uh, the other way around which uh, kind of tells us that we have to flip it yes so this is a, it means now um the you know the the bottom part is rising and the top part is inwards all right so this is the exact same thing i have finally made inside rabbit let's close this and uh, let's select this so hidden lines and uh, you know we'll try to improve the 
the representation a little bit shadow shadow okay activate both of them sketchy lines okay i want to activate sketchy lines lightning let's go to top left i think that's the right direction and uh what else what is all this photographic exposure it's going to activate once we go to realistic okay activate that and let's go to sky and let's go to um, background and sky okay and check this out um Right, I think we uh, let's go to VV. Press VV two times, and uh, mass, 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 mass. Where are you? Okay, this is the mass. Uh, all right, and uh, now let's go to massing inside, and do not show. All right, this is it, guys. So this is the profile that I always admired. And uh, I always like look at how beautiful our profile looks. And uh, you know, if you go to hidden lines, it's gonna look better. So this is it, guys. Um, you know, for example, if you go back to Google and if you look at this, so the the bottom one is rising and the top part is going inside, right? That's why we flipped it. Even in our case, the bottom one is rising and the top one is inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it, and uh, look at how nice our profile looks. So have a good day and uh, bye bye.